Every time you fill up your car, you're tapping into a century-old saga of adventure, danger, and innovation. But have you ever stopped to wonder where that petrol comes from? Join us as we take you on a journey deep into the heart of Texas, where the battle to quench the world's thirst for oil unfolds every day. The History of Oil in Texas In the heart of Texas, beneath the vast and rugged landscape, lies a story that changed the world. The quest for black gold in the Lone Star State began in the late 19th century, but it was in 1901 at Spindletop that the oil industry truly erupted into a geyser of fortune. This monumental event tripled the United States oil production overnight, catapulting Texas to the forefront of the oil rush. Since then, the state has produced nearly 60 billion barrels of oil, a testament to the enduring legacy of those early wildcatters. The story of Texas oil is a saga of grit, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of energy buried deep beneath the Earth's surface. It's a story that not only highlights the state's pivotal role in the global oil market, but also sets the stage for the complex process of turning crude oil into the gasoline that powers our daily lives. Crude oil. This black sticky substance, often referred to as black gold, is a mixture of various hydrocarbons, each holding the potential to power our vehicles, heat our homes, and create the products we use every day. The story of crude oil is a journey through time, a testament to the Earth's ability to transform the simple into the extraordinary. It's a process that underscores the finite nature of our planet's resources and the incredible journey these molecules have made from ancient seas to our fuel tanks. The drilling process. The journey from identifying a potential site to the extraction of crude oil is a feat of engineering and geoscience. It begins with geologists using seismic surveys to map the Earth's subsurface, looking for structures that might contain oil. These surveys produce detailed images of the geological formations, guiding engineers to the most promising drilling sites. Once a site is selected, the drilling can begin. This is where the brute force of human ingenuity meets the Earth's crust. A rig is erected, towering over the landscape as a symbol of the quest for energy. At the heart of this operation is the drill bit, a technological marvel coated with industrial diamonds, capable of boring through layers of rock to reach the oil reservoirs below. Drilling a well is a delicate balance of power and precision. The drill bit, attached to a long string of drill pipes, spins into the earth, pulverizing the rock into fine cuttings. These cuttings are carried to the surface by a special drilling fluid, which also cools the drill bit and stabilizes the well bore. As the drill progresses deeper, the team must continuously add sections of pipe, extending the well's reach toward the hidden reservoirs. This round-the-clock operation is a testament to human determination and the relentless pursuit of resources. Drilling is not without its hazards, though. The risk of striking a high-pressure gas pocket can lead to blowouts, posing a significant danger to the crew and the environment. Modern drilling techniques, however, have introduced safety measures and technologies to minimize these risks, ensuring that the quest for oil remains as safe as it is ambitious. Extracting crude oil. Once the drilling process reaches the underground reservoirs, the real challenge begins, extracting the crude oil to the surface. Initially, the natural pressure within the reservoir is often enough to force the oil up through the wellbore to the surface. However, this natural drive diminishes over time, and additional methods must be employed to continue the extraction process efficiently. One common method to enhance oil recovery is the use of plunger pumps. These pumps work tirelessly day and night, mimicking the heartbeats of the oil field. They maintain the flow of oil from the depths to the surface. For deeper wells, the technology becomes even more fascinating. The plunger pump's action converts the circular motion of its engine into a vertical thrust, drawing oil up like a giant syringe. It's a site of industrial might, where mechanical ingenuity pulls ancient resources into our modern world. As crude oil emerges, it carries with it not just energy, but also a tale of geological history and human endeavor. The extracted crude oil doesn't travel alone. It often brings with it water, natural gas, and other substances from the reservoir. Separating these components is the first step after extraction, ensuring that what heads to the refinery is as pure as possible. 
This separation process is crucial, not just for refining efficiency, but also for environmental protection, preventing unwanted materials from being released into the atmosphere, transporting crude oil to refineries. After the arduous process of extraction, crude oil embarks on its next journey, the trip to the refinery. This phase is crucial as the raw oil must be transformed into usable products such as gasoline, diesel, and aviation fuel. The transportation of crude oil is a logistical ballet involving a network of pipelines, tanker trucks, and sometimes even ships, each method chosen based on distance, geography, and economic factors. Pipelines are the backbone of this transportation network, offering a relatively safe and efficient means of moving large volumes of crude oil over land. For offshore oil fields, tanker ships are the lifeline. These massive vessels navigate the oceans, transporting crude oil from the drilling platforms to coastal refineries. Refining Process Upon arrival at the refinery, crude oil embarks on a transformative journey. The first step in refining is distillation. In towering columns that dominate the refinery's skyline, crude oil is heated to extremely high temperatures. The heat causes the different hydrocarbons within the crude to vaporize at various temperatures. As these vapors rise within the distillation column, they cool and condense back into liquids at different levels, effectively separating the crude oil into its parts based on their boiling points. From the heavy residues used for bitumen to the lightest fractions like propane and butane, each component finds its path. But the journey doesn't end with distillation. Further processing through cracking, reforming, and treating helps refine these fractions into the specific products we rely on. Cracking breaks down heavier molecules into lighter, more valuable products. Reforming, on the other hand, rearranges molecular structures, enhancing the quality of gasoline, testing and distribution. After the complex refining process, the resulting products, including gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel, undergo rigorous testing. This critical phase ensures that the fuels meet specific quality and safety standards before they make their way to consumers. The distribution process is designed to be both efficient and safe. For example, when filling a tanker truck, static electricity is a significant concern as it can ignite the fuel vapors. Safety protocols, such as grounding the truck and using vapor recovery systems, are strictly followed to prevent any accidents. These measures not only protect the workers and environment, but also ensure that the fuel remains uncontaminated throughout its journey. As we conclude, it's worth reflecting on the importance of continuing innovation in energy production and consumption. The journey of oil underscores the need for ongoing investment in alternative energy sources and more efficient technologies to ensure a sustainable and secure energy future. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Your engagement fuels our passion for sharing knowledge and exploring the world's wonders. Like, share, and subscribe for more content that illuminates the intricate tapestry of our modern world.